Hi, and welcome to this BrettWeiss.com Excel screencast on the introduction to the VBA editor. The VBA editor is the place where we're going to write and store our macro code. So first things first, we want to make sure that the developer tab on the ribbon is displayed in Excel. And to do that, if it's not already displayed, we can go to File, Options, we can go down to Customize Ribbon, and we're going to make sure that the developer tab has a check bar has a check mark in it and once we place a check mark in it we're just gonna click OK we, you can go over to the, to the developer tab take a look around take a look at the options they might not mean a whole lot if you're just starting out in VBA but what we're going to do first is head to the left and click on the visual basic button and this is gonna bring up the VBA editor as you can see right now an alternate way to get to the VBA editor is the keyboard shortcut alt 11 so we're just going to use that head over to the VBA editor alt 11 also gets us there and first we're just going to take a look around and I'll describe a couple things that you're seeing right now the first is this box over here called the VBA project window and that's going to display all the open projects we have right now and since I only have this one workbook open and I don't have any add-ins installed right now all you see is the VBA project which is this workbook that I'm in right now introduction to Excel VBA and the VBA editor and you'll notice there's a subfolder which contains all of the objects currently in this workbook which are the three worksheets and then an object called this workbook below that is the properties window and if you don't see any of these if you don't see the VBA project window or the properties window head to view and you can find the project explorer will bring up the project window and the properties window will bring up the properties window. So back to the properties window, these are all the different properties of the objects that we've selected. So right now you can see sheet one is selected, we can just select sheet two, sheet three, or this workbook, and you can see all the properties that you can customize in the this workbook object. Below that is the immediate pane. Again, if you can't see the v immediate pane, pane, either control G or view and go to the immediate pane. This window is great for executing single VBA statements. Uh, you can also debug your code here and you can even see what's located in each worksheet. So for an example if I want to see what's what value is in cell A1 of the first sheet in my workbook I can go to print worksheets sheet 1 dot range a1 dot value and it's going to return whatever's in cell a1 in sheet 1 of my current workbook so next we're going to insert our first code module a, cor a code module is where we'll store the majority of our macros and functions that we create in VBA so if we go up to insert and we go to module what this is going to do is it's going to insert a module into our currently selected VBA project since we only have one project open again uh, it's going to insert a module into this introduction to Excel VBA workbook what came up here is called our code window this is where we're going to write our VBA code you'll notice that there's an option explicit at the top if you don't see option explicit at the top of your code window go to tools options and make sure this box require variable declaration is checked. What require variable declaration means is that when we're writing code and we're using variables we have to explicitly declare them at the start of our macro. It's not important right now to understand what that means just know that it's good programming practice to declare your variables and it can also help reduce errors. So make sure that's checked, click OK. The other crucial part of the VBA editor is the help menu option. If we go up to help and we go to Visual Basic for our application help, this will display the Microsoft Office, Office help file. This is an invaluable resource when you're writing your code. If you run into something that you don't quite know how to do or there's a syntax that you're not quite sure about, search the help system. It's very easy to use. It looks a bit daunting at first, but once you start writing code, you'll find that you can find quick answers to almost any syntax question that you have through the Excel help system. 
So as an example, say I'm having trouble with the range object and I can't quite get the syntax right. I keep getting an error in my code and it has to do with the range object. I can go into the help file, type range in the search box, and Excel help will give me a number of search results. I can click on the range object and you can see here we get a detailed explanation of the range object. We get its syntax. They'll give you an example of how it can be used in code as well as a lot of other great information. You'll find as you start writing code in VBA that this source is invaluable and that you'll be using it again and again and again. So with that we'll end our introduction to the VBA editor. I want to thank you for watching this video on breadweeds.com. Have a great day.